Hey guys, Mary Me 3 back here with part 2 of Final Fantasy 7. Today we are moving up in the train. Last train to Midgar. And as you see, I started my uh, first change for like the menu and stuff. Um, so we're going to Sector 7. See, I'm going to be changing that every video. It's going to be... I mean, it's kind of similar. It's just red and blue. But it's going to get a lot... I'm doing it for every video, and this is going to be a lot of parts, probably. We're going to have a lot of combinations here. But, it's one of my favorite parts of this game. Like, I love just changing the color. <laughs> like, um, next time I save, I can show you all the colors I had before. Um, usually for my playthroughs, I just kept them, kept it the same the whole playthrough. Man, I wonder who those terrorists are. I don't want to sit down. You're not my brother. You can't tell me what to do. Does anybody have a brother in this game? No. Like, I'm talking about like main characters. <laughs> That'd be funny. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I guess. I like this stuff. Bombs and monitors. <laughs> okay, that that's a comparison. <laughs> what? I like bombs and monitors. I like monitoring bombs. Uh, Midgar, I don't care about Midgar. Midgar sucks. Bleh. Baby Rage. Then there's number two. Why don't we blow up the number two reactor? That's obviously the most important one to blow up. I mean, let's, let's be let's be honest. Yeah, so I'm just finding out how bad Midgar is. We'll learn about that more through this first part of the game. Just how terrible Midgar is. What a terrible place it is. This game is pretty much all about, like... I think I talked about that. It's like the planet and... Well... At least Team Avalanche, Barrett's group, is about saving the planet. This game is a lot about, like, the planet and what's happening to it. And Midgar is pretty much one of the problems. One of the things ruining the planet. So that was a security gate. Uh, do I talk to you now, Barrett? So yeah, we're in the slums, which is below, like, a plate. Of, like, the upper city. Like... There's eight sectors and there's slums. Like he said, there's no night or day because they're under a plate. Um, I don't really understand the plate like 100%, but I pretty much know it. There's an upper city on it and that, yeah. Everybody underneath is suffering in Midgard. The people, Shinra, don't really care about what's happening down there. Yeah, they have no money. That's pretty much, you know, like, rich, poor, or, like, all that crap. And then we're gonna get a view of it here. Yeah, you can see the slums on the bottom. I didn't get a great view, but... Uh, looks like we made it to Sector 7. I feel have to like jump off. Like, uh, I thought <laughs> he said all yeah. I almost thought he said y'all, which I would have gotten mad. I wouldn't be surprised if he does in this game, honestly. <sighs> um, 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 uh, um, no, um, oh, oh, no, oh, oh, jeez. <laughs> He's probably said it before, I just didn't notice, but... <laughs> Are you kidding me, Barrett? Don't y'all be scared? Oh my god. I quit. 
I'm done. Um, well, that's it for this uh, Let's Play. Um, I'll see you guys uh, never. God, he just had to say y'all. He says all y'all, and then he says y'all. Like, what? Who does that? Uh, so if we go this way, we can go to the train graveyard. And we can do stuff here. Like, fight enemies and get uh, ethers. But, uh, I don't want to do that. That's like, optional crap this early. We'll, we'll be back there later. Um, I think this guy is going to actually... We talk to him. I think he's going to show us a pillar that's holding up the uh, plate above the slums. I think we're getting a good view here. Yep, there's the pillar. Which will come in play later, as we'll see. Um, so, I don't know if there's just one pillar in each sector, because I guess there's only one, and I guess that's the plate up there. Yeah. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to show you about saving. Okay, mm, sh shut up, Barrett. Um, just save. I'm also going to save in different slots so we can see the color progression as we go through. Um, I think this has like 99 probably. Yeah, it has a lot. Um, so the first time I didn't know you could do it, so yeah, normal. My second playthrough, I had this throughout the game and I, I still like that. Like, I think that's cool. Um, I don't know what this is. It's the same. This was my third time through the game with more of a light-hearted approach. And this was some other time I played. We'll probably see like these colors. I switched it up a little bit. Um, don't pay attention to those characters; they're not important that I showed. Can't go down there. Okay, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> uh, Moida. Did you guys shoot the place up? Like, really? There was a kid in there. Why is there a kid in a bar? Uh, we could talk to some people. Tifa! 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 I love you! Oh, wait, no, I don't. Tifa! 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 Oh, stairs. How do they work? And Tifa's theme. Another great song. <laughs> I like how they, they do this. They make you think Cloud's her dad. Like, you're like, what? Hello, boobs. I mean, uh, Tifa. Uh, yeah, we fought, yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, crap. Um, yeah, we'll just keep Tifa. <laughs> uh, I, you know, I wasn't sure what name I was gonna put in there. It could've gone into anything. It could've been, uh... Uh, slurp, Slurpee, um, maybe, uh, Slug, um, yeah, I don't know what the name was gonna be, um, what am, what am I looking for here, alright, Cloud acting all cool, oh yeah, that's definitely his kid, that's, I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm not being racist here, but I mean, uh, <sighs> what, racism, why does everybody like jump weird? What? Okay, okay what's up to you, bud? Why don't you tell me to sit down? Give me something hard. <laughs> oh, I can make a joke. <laughs> so many jokes to be made. Uh, I love this music. Ah, maybe you look tired. Get off my back.
Sin. What is this, Final Fantasy X? Oh, okay. Are you gonna kiss? Oh wait. Wait, clown. Voice acting. Oh wait, no, no. Okay, okay. I've I've been practicing this for a while. Um, I have the perfect voice for Tifa when she talks again. Wow, cloud. Okay. Okay, here we go. Straighten things up with everyone for me. Okay, I mean, I mean, I've, I've been practicing that for a couple months now. Um, I have to say I've hit the nail on the head there. Um, I'm pretty sure, you know, the voice actor in Advent Children, that's pretty much how she sounds like, how she does it. Um, I think I do it a little better. Um, here we, here we go again. Listen, Cloud, I'm asking you, please join us. I mean, I mean, let's be honest here, that, that, that's gotta be good. Okay, I'm done with that. <laughs> That's her voice, though. I mean, come on. How can you say that? Promise, promise, promise you crap. It was seven years ago. Hmm. Final Fantasy VII. Hmm. Yeah, back then. So he does remember this, huh? Again, that's part of the discussion I was talking about. <laughs> Tiny ass clod. What a snitloid. Kneecaps! <laughs> she has none. <laughs> Ew! Those knees. Yeah, who are you gonna marry now? Does he have like a ponytail? Wait, what? He does kind of. Y'all! <laughs> King Cloud, dude. He's so tiny! Like, how old is he? <laughs> he's gotta be like... He's like 10 or 11 right now. Sephiroth! Oh, I think it's the first mention of Sephiroth. He's not important, don't worry. He's as important as that flower girl was. Yeah, he won't be back for... Well, not seven years. I don't know how many years. Huh. I don't really know the timeline exactly. Be in the newspapers. <laughs> newspapers. Local Nibelheim kid dies trying to make soul chair. <laughs> Those newspapers. Okay, Tifa, alright. We get it. You want the D? I don't wanna. You're my brother. No, Cloud, no! Cloud? Why would you do that, Cloud? She's not your brother. Why would you promise her that? Shooting star, okay, okay, alright, alright. I see how this is. Shooting stars. Uh, I still don't remember. <laughs> I still don't remember. I'm not a hero, I'm not famous. Good job, Cloud, way to be positive. Okay, showing off over here. Give me my money. Stop glitching. And we're also going to get something else important here.
Arlene's school, and you're in the slums! Where's there a school? There's no school in the slums! What? What? Is there even a school in Midgar? What? Uh, I don't know whose theme this is. <laughs> Maybe Barrett? I don't know. It might not even be his thing, it might just be the music. Okay. So we're going for the Sector 5 reactor next. Um, got a couple things we're going to do in Sector 7, and then I'll probably end the video. Okay, the material we found is teach me how to use it. So this is where you'll figure out about materia. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to go through tutorials. Where's Marlene? Is she making drinks back there? So yeah, now we have access to Materia, which is pretty much all the stuff to do with the magic. Weapon shop stuff. Okay. Um, I'm actually gonna worry about that in a second. Um, so yeah, we have some stuff we wanted to go do around town. <laughs> Around town. <laughs> um, so we're gonna buy one thing from this guy. So we already have ice and lightning materia. Oh, uh, it's called lightning, yeah. We already have one restored too. Um, so we're gonna get a fire and do I wanna get another restore? Hmm. I don't know when we get our next restore. I'm, I'm gonna hold off. We should be fine. See, so yeah, I'm just gonna get a fire so we have one of each, and so every one of our character will get one offensive magic. Um, we can rest with this kid. If you give him ten, I think. Hey, hey, kid, kid. Would you talk to me like that? And I think this girl has some weapons for us. Iron Bangle. We're gonna buy three of these. One for each. Assault gun, grenade. We already have the assault gun, so. Equip boys! Um, two defense, two magic defense. Pretty good. And yeah, based on what you have, you have different, like, slots for materia. All that stuff. It's not too complicated, the materia stuff. Um, I'm gonna do that again in a second, because there's one last thing I need to get. I'm just gonna sell these bronze bangles. That's some decent money. I could sell the ethers, but I don't really need money right now. They sell for like 150, 200, something like that. Okay. We got one more thing to get here. Jumping save point for no reason. Um, last thing we need is this all materia, and we get uh, ether too. So all materia is probably the most one of the best uh, materia there is. So I'm gonna keep. Cloud with lightning and put all. Basically, that means you can attack all enemies. Yada yada. I'm gonna give him fire eyes. And each materia does different things to the person. As you see, they get more magic and they lose HP and strength. I'm gonna give him fire. And then Tifa, I'm gonna give restore and ice. Uh, yeah, that seems good. Let's check our limits. Yeah, um... Is there anything else in here? Save point, don't really need it. Um, I think that's all here. Um, in the next part we will head out to Reactor 5. Third floor, so that's just where you can sleep if you pay that kid. This kid. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go to the save point. Um, so we'll get another little thing here, maybe. Okay, so yeah, so 
next time we're heading to reactor 5. <laughs> Please uh, rate the video 5 stars. <laughs> um...